internet learners this is anke bhat once again with you for the same purpose in this new video lecture i will tell you about the image formation by astronomical telescope when image is formed at infinity i hope you all are watching this series of video lectures and believe that it is helping you out to learn the concepts of physics please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon button to get the notification of every new video lecture keep watching keep learning uh, dear learners in this lecture we will talk about the astronomical telescope again when the image is formed at infinity in the last video uh, i was telling you about the same when image was formed at d so how to draw the diagram red diagram and it is very important again so we will draw two lenses object lens and eye lens once again having the same principal axis this is optical center o of the object lens here we have eye lens and its optical center is o dash let this is fe focus of the eye lens so the same distance we will take on opposite side also <coughs> now since eye lens is working as simple microscope so to get the image at infinity the image formed by object lens should lie very close to the focus of eye lens and this is f o and a dash also so the image is a dash b dash this image is formed by an object lens by its two rays one is passing through the optical center and another one is the parallel ray of now do the same for eye lens as well in the two rays we are considering here also if we produce them backward we will see the two rays are parallel to each other so final image is formed at infinity the two angles are similar here theta i and this is theta o and here also it is theta o so this is how we can draw the ray diagram of image formation by astronomical telescope now the part left is angular magnification to find angular magnification we will use the same formula it is m is equal to theta i upon theta o what theta i is angle made by your image formed at infinity and theta o is angle made by object placed at infinity and seen 
directly so it's very easy to find out these two angles tan theta i is equal to a dash b dash upon a dash o dash which implies theta i is equal to a dash b dash upon a dash o dash also tan theta o is equal to a dash b dash upon a dash o for a small angle this would be theta o is equal to a dash b dash upon a dash o if you replace these two in equation 1 then equation 1 will give us m is equal to a dash b dash upon a dash o dash upon a dash b dash upon a dash o if you simplify this it comes to a dash b dash upon a dash o dash into a dash o upon a dash b dash so a dash b dash is cancelled then what do we have m is equal to a dash o upon a dash o dash this time a dash o is f o as we had in last case and this a dash o dash is equal to f e so a dash o is equal to f o and a dash o dash is equal to f e then m is equal to f o upon f e uh, please remember that the image formed at infinity always is considered at considered as normal adjustment so here the case of image formation by astronomical telescope is a normal adjustment uh, one more important thing you keep in mind and that is what tube length that we discussed in compound microscope section also and tube length is what l is equal to v o plus u e this is the separation between the two lenses object lens and eye lens uh, here in case of astronomical telescope v o is always f o and u e remains u e if image is found at infinity this is for image at d and if image is formed at infinity then l is equal to f o plus f e also so this is very important part of this optical instrument telescope as far as numericals are concerned <coughs> so i hope you have enjoyed the learning experience during this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel press the bell icon button to get the notification of every new video lecture thanks for being with us keep watching keep learning